Hi, today I'm going to show you how to evaluate our uh, uh, IP course uh, in um, Xilinx Web Area Tool through um, cloud computing environment. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, how to connect to a desktop and then evaluate uh, using um, Web Area 2019.1 version. So uh, before that, I'd, I request you to install uh, um, uh, desktop cloud environment DCV EDCV. So, yeah, if you have Windows machine, you can install Windows x86 or x32 or Linux machines. You have the Linux versions as well. So, if you scroll down, you can get it uh, uh, whatever the OS versions you have uh, and machines you have. So, in my case, I have uh, Windows x64 x86 64. So, I installed this uh, already. So once you install it, once you click on it, you get something like this, uh, where you have to enter your uh, IP address and then uh, username and password. I will guide you to how to connect to this uh, via tool through this uh, EDCV. And uh, apart from this, um, uh, you, uh, you you need to have a AWS account um, to connect to the this uh, cloud uh, environment. So if you don't have the account, please uh, create uh, AWS account. Uh, in this one, uh, I have um, uh, created our, uh, we have our account. So I'm going to log in through, and then guide you through step-by-step -step process. All right, so first I'm going to go back to the page. I'm going to sign in. So as a root, so just remember you have to clear login as a root user, and then uh, yeah. So now in the login process, all right. So once you once you register it, uh, once once you or you once you log into the account, you get something like this AWS uh, management console. So you, you are, uh, note that you know in this video you are seeing everything is uh, black. Um, because I set uh, my desktop uh, and browser uh, to the background to black. So whatever you see, most uh, the background or uh, or the video related, it's uh, it's black, black black background. So once you have once you are in this uh, EC2, uh, once you are in the AWS uh, AWS environment, then the in the in the services you can say find services or you just type ec2 here ec2 or the first search you can get ec2 here so I'm just going to uh, click ec2 so LX, ec2 means elastic cloud computing uh, 2 and then uh, once you are here so you see uh, something like this instance running instances so or if you have elastic IPs or uh, GPS or um, uh, any any dedicated host. So come down here, then uh, launch instance. So once you are here, click on uh, AWS Marketplace. Here you say FPGA, click uh, uh, type FPGA developer EMI, FPGA developer AMI, and then press enter. So it will give you a list of uh, uh, AMIs, developer AMIs. So you can see 2020 version, we had STX 2019.2, version, 19 19.2 version. So I'm going to use AWS uh, FPGA developer AMI select click on select okay now so in this one since uh, assuming that you created account for the first time you have a, a free tire um, you can use this tool uh, free of cost for one year uh, so so click on this view additional details in AWS marketplace and then continue to subscribe
<coughs> now so it's just about uh, uh, the agreement so continue to configuration okay so in the software version you uh, please select uh, version 1.7.0 september 19 2019 version and then uh, so you have ami id here and then click continue to launch button so okay so in this one here is it instance type f1 uh, type f1 to x large so once you just press f or f1 um, f1 then you see f1 to x large select this part and then uh, subnet uh, and then um, okay subnet settings so make sure this one is selected to us east 1e and uh, and then uh, uh, key pair settings okay so since we have a key pair so um we already created key pair if you don't have key pair just click on create key pair so that will give you uh, created key pairs and then what else uh, okay security group settings okay so in this case fpj developer ami18 autogen you select this part right and then click launch okay this is launched now so go to ec2 console Okay, so it will take about a few minutes to launch to in a running state. So let's wait for a few minutes. Okay, now it is in a running state. So select this part then uh, let's stop this instance uh, in, to clear to stop this instance first you have to select it then right click it then uh, instance state stop so you can click yes to stop now the instance will stop so we have to configure tcp port and then uh, then uh, we have to increase the volume size so why we need to con configure tcp port is that you know, we are connecting to uh, cloud desktop so we have to open a port uh, tcp port 8443 so that you know when we connect to ncb environment so we will give that port number um, so that port now that port number will be detected uh, and then um, yeah then it will you can log in through uh, desktop e edcv desktop environment okay let's wait for a few minutes okay now it is stopped so come down to in the description tab below this part description and then uh, okay security groups <coughs> the security groups uh, okay inbound rules so and then we are going to add a new rule here add inbound rule so it's i already added inbound rule here if you don't have inbound rule here you have to click on add rule and then uh, you create it something like this uh, the next window next row then come down here and then put custom tcp and then mention the port number 8443 and then in here in custom you select uh, here you have to say you have to open for all uh, which means a 000 dot zero zero uh, slash uh, zero once you have this part and then let's see let's go back to okay 
cancel it since i have already added that rule so i'm going to cancel it okay now we are okay important rules uh, go to instance uh, and then select instance the thing which now we created so come down here the volume we have to increase the volume EBS ID click on the EBS ID then uh, okay so by default it is uh, uh, EC2 instance is uh, 75 GIB so I, I we suggest around uh, uh, around 100 GB uh, extra so this the whole 75 GB used for the the complete tool so you don't have enough space to left uh, to try your applications or try your hardware so we suggest to increase this volume a little more so in this case i'm going to modify the volume to let's say uh, 120 gb okay then uh, press uh, mo click modify then click yes okay close so you refresh this button okay so 125 gb so the way to modify is here action then modify right okay now we'll go back to instance uh then we'll connect so to connect the instance select this uh, instance and then right click instance start now we start the instance okay now the instance in uh, is in a running state so we will uh, connect so click on the connect button here so it will give you uh, the public dns so you just copy this one okay and then uh, copy this control copy or you can just a uh, control go right click control c so what we are going to do is when we when you're going to evaluate we are going to provide a zip file so in the zip file you have um, uh, netlist files and then uh, and then um, then some setup uh, binary uh, files so you just need to transfer those files to uh, to your uh, ec2 instance okay so since i'm using windows machine i'm using a win sap uh, okay so i'm just going to click this edit button so control v then since i already created uh, login environment so i'm going to log in now it will ask for the confirmation click yes okay so once you are here so uh, and then you unzip uh, the the file whatever we have given you so and, and then you select all so selected all here so transfer this to the ec2 uh, instance this i'm transferring to the to the root okay so these are the sample uh, adders divider and multipliers and then the bucket let's go policies you know ecv comes with the evaluation version so to use it the evaluation version you can use it for 15 days if you want more than 15 days you, there is a, a json script here so you you just copy this json script and then uh, in in your aws account there is a im role then you copy and paste this uh, this bucket policy in im role that will work so dcv download link dot text is uh, uh, in the in the beginning whatever i have shown you how to download this one it's called dcv so this is the link uh, 
and uh, desktop connect these two are binaries desktop connect and desktop setup so desktop setup is one time setup uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how to do that and then desktop connect is uh, where you connect every time when you start the instance okay so now i'm going to close this okay close now since i already copied this part then i'm going to log in through putty so putty we have uh, so in the putty you have to generate um, ppk key uh, you can generate ppk th key through uh, im role and then there is uh, one uh, uh, in the role you can generate the uh, create your need key pair okay so in, in in order to connect to let's say uh, in order to connect to ec2 instance so you need to uh, uh, you can connect either to ssh if you're a, a linux user you can connect to ssh uh, let's say like this ssh and then key pair and then uh, pem file uh, whatever you created during the instance creation and then uh, root and then this uh, public dns so it's in case of uh, windows you have to install putty and then uh, you have to create ppk file so pem to ppk file you can do it through putty gen so if you should just type putty gen in a, in a search engine then you'll say putty gen so from there you can convert uh, uh, pem to ppk so i already converted pem to ppk here and then uh, once you have that uh, the file ppk file converted so you have to give that to authentication tab here so it could be okay in the authentication the authentication here you have to give the the file the file path okay so since i already have that one i'm going to load it now load and then uh, so i'm just going to paste this the public dns then uh, i'm going to ask open the terminal so click open it will ask for the security string okay so now i'm going to enlarge it so see this so uh, let's say unless what we're going to have okay we have all the things so the note that desktop connect and desktop setup or the binary files you have to change the file permissions here sudo chmod mod 0 triple 7 0 triple 7 and then uh, desktop uh, setup we are going to change this uh, file permission then desktop okay now we have changed the file permission now we can to execute this binary file so first this is note that the desktop setup is only for first time so just going to hit enter desktop desktop okay so enter okay so now it is it's going to install uh, vcv server and then uh, related packages so it will take about uh, 20 minutes time uh, to completely download everything so i'm going to fast forward this and then after 20 minutes i'll get back to you on uh, on the next procedure okay now it is installed uh, the whole setup now we are going to have connect uh, so i'm just going to press uh, control l here right. okay control l so i'm going to refresh the screen so I'm going to say desktop connect. Okay. Okay. So every time you connect, uh, you start the instance. So, and then when you enter desktop connect, so you have to set new password. That is because, so, okay. Uh, when you when you start the instance and stop the instance, so the IP address is going to change this part. So this is a dynamic so for that you have to create every time a uh, new password if you want static then i, I suggest you contact to 
uh, AWS support here your AWS support support center and then send them an email and then uh, they will provide you uh, static IP right okay so I'm going to just uh, create a new uh, passport okay so now it's success now what we have to do is since it's enabled so we go to this part uh, AWS console then copy this IP address IP address and then come down to here uh, control V and then then here to enable the port so control V and then colon 8443 note that we had to give this command uh, every IP address and then press connect then click on trust button below okay so the username is we have given CentOS and then password whatever you have given now we'll log Okay, so <coughs> so this is a welcome screen. You can close this welcome screen. Okay. Uh, okay. So you see the notification here. This is about license uh, for the DCV. As I mentioned, that you know, without this, you can uh, without uh, any license, you can use it for uh, fifteen days if you want more than 15 days and then i think you know we have given that um, bucket policy the json script so you have to go to im role and then put the there that script so then then you will it won't show you okay so i'm going to close it now we are we connected to desktop uh this is recent os then i'm going to click right now now, now i'm going to click right click so we'll go to open terminal so the terminal is opened. This one we are going to open. Let's say so we let's say we have keep, just type ls. Now we have uh, was it added uh, multiplication right? Okay, we have those things. Then desktop connect as well. Okay, so now we are going to type vbad. Okay, so it will open. UI for Vivado. Okay, it's going to open now. So this is uh, Vivado 2019.1 version. So I'm going to just uh, maximize this okay now we will create a new project okay so what's next so the directory name so we are going to give the directory path so in this case as an example i'm going to give positive add directory uh, select then make the project name as uh, posit so, okay pause it underscore add then click next so this rtl project click next so we're going to add files so we're going to add this netlist file pause it underscore add dot v file okay and then uh, click next i think there are no constants for this one okay so in this device we have created netlist file for xilinx xau up9 flag uh, uh, flga2140 and dash 1e so select this part and then click next okay finish it 
and now it's going to create a new project Okay, so now it's created the directory. Now click on this part. So you can click this part, run synthesis button. Okay, so run synthesis. So you can synthesize to generate reports, hardware report. Okay, launch, uh, launch runs on localhost. Default, this one is okay. Click okay. It takes about uh, about a minute to synthesize the design. Okay, now the design is synthesized. So you just uh, press cancel button here. So and then you need to add simulation sources. Okay, so click on simulation sources. Right click on simulation sources. Add sources. Then. Um, so I'll click next. So then you're going to add it. So this is a test bench file. And then we have some sample eight bit uh, test vectors. So this is this is an a note that this eight bit vectors are uh, just an example. So we can create sixteen bit or uh, any of uh, uh, it's of your combination. So just select input one, input two, text file, click OK. Okay, now press finish. Okay, now the simulation sources are added. So see, come down here, same underscore one. So positive test bench the main is the one. This is a main file um this main file so yeah, let's double click on this main file okay so so by default we have created netlist uh, file for 16 comma 2 version parameter 16 bit posit 16 and the es2 bit version so these are the sample 8 bits since it's a 16 bit uh design so we are going to pad uh, 800 so we have padded eight zeros for um, and that so the dot is in, okay so positive add one so in one and in two so to make it 16 bit we are padding uh, eight bits um, then okay Okay, so this part is, uh, so let's say if you have your own verification part, you can enable this part. So as an evaluation, I just comment it out. You can uh, comment, uh, enable these comments when you have your verification part, okay? So now I'm going to press run simulation, then click on behavior simulation, okay? So behavioral simulation is, uh, let's say, so you can see uh, the correctness of the results and so forth. So if you want to see hardware utilizations uh, of, uh, of any IP core, uh, then you have to um, click on, let me, I'll, I'll just show you. So first let me finish off this uh, simulation report. Okay, so out is the, the final output and then in one into our uh, uh, inputs and then there are some control sequence here okay so n is uh, uh, for you know 16 bit and the es2 bit combination okay so these are representing hex okay All right so so i'm going to just minimize you can see uh, the whole thing okay so uh, 
the clock still okay the clock input not input output and then output as well right so note that is a behavior simulation it's not for timing or uh, function simulation as an i as an um, ip core evaluation so we're just providing the real simulation of that part so and then you go to let's say the to call sources okay and then there is that um, so i'm going to close this simulation uh, close this simulation simulation is closed so you want to see utilization reports so click on the reports down arrow here you can see synthesis report utilization double click on that part and then uh, and then complete report so i think for the short abstract view this is much better it will give you how much utilization in terms of you now let's clbs muxus you can see on this part okay yeah so if you want to close this part okay the whole project you just close it exit uh, arrow and then you want to close so to close this uh, the desktop image just click on cross button here you're done okay yeah so that's it for today so if you have any questions uh, please do get back to me uh, and then uh, we'll uh, more than happy to clarify your concerns thank you